What's up beloved brothers and sisters, in June 2020 due to the pandemic that has plagued the world, I took advantage of free time at my home and continued to seek the Lord in regular prayers, three times a day, unfortunately before the suspension of normal activities in my church because of the pandemic. I was punished in my church because the pastor Fakami that once praised me now made me the number one enemy, due to the message given to me by the Lord, he sanctioned me for propagating a new doctrine received through the experience that I had in April, being a member of Baptist church our doctrine and teaching was totally contrary to the revelation that the Lord have revealed to me, and this message ended up causing serious internal conflicts in my church that was a traditional Baptist church for they don't believe in revelations and teaches that spiritual gift contained in the book of Galatians went extinct at the end of the apostolic era, in the late afternoon after returning from the bakery, I was at the end of my house reading the Bible when I began to feel like praying, so I started to pray again, I felt the same sensation and feeling like in the 19th of April 2020, I started to get frightened to have another experience in hell but at the same time I was curious when I heard a voice talking to me, I asked who it was and more, I heard the voice of the angel that came previously, who told me I was sent to reveal to you more about the spirit world and the enemy's strategies against the chosen ones, at that time I didn't know what was going to happen and suddenly my spiritual eyes were opened, and I saw the angel sent to me, I can only say that he was tall, I could not see his face because of the light emanating from him, he told me the Lord has raised his servant in this country that he will use in order to destroy the enemy's interest in these territory, the angel showed me in a vision my tablet, my notebook open with my Facebook profile and told me, through social networks the Antichrist will rule the world, he is gonna be using data collected from users profiles and it will be easy for him to capture people in any country of the world all those who gonna refuse to receive the mark of the beast will be killed and they will be tracked through social network profile, the angel of the Lord showed me a strange demon of size medium, he had the appearance of a colored lizard, and the angel told me this is a demon of social network, he rule and operate in the network which is the main part of his domain, he reign over the social networks which were dedicated to him, and he is the in charge of capturing the attention of people and keeping the people many hours online in the social network, brothers I was surprised because even behind Facebook there were demons acting to get people to stay for hours online, at that time on that day I deleted my Facebook profile and at that moment I understood that because of hours spent in Facebook I had no disposition to pray, for instead of praying I stay connected for a long time, brothers, we must be diligent about our spiritual life because demons are terrible. The strategy of this demon of Facebook and social network is to take our focus away from spiritual things, they are aware that the more we take care of our spiritual life the less power they have against us, then the angel showed me another vision and I saw a factory, when we entered I noticed that it was a shoe factory where they were making many style of shoes and there I saw women buying different models of high heels shoes from different sizes, I also saw that these women who bought these high heels when they were walking in the street they were accompanied by a female looking demon, the angel told me right away this is the principality of sensuality, women who buy these high heels shoes are giving legality to this principality of seduction to act in their lives, then the angel gave me this biblical reference, the text that is in Isaiah 3 verse 16 to 17, which says, because the daughters of Zion are haughty walking with heads held high and wanton eyes, prancing and skipping as they go, jingling the bracelets on their ankles, the Lord will bring sores on the heads of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will make their foreheads bare, I was never taught in my church that it was a sin to wear shoes like high heels before, when I had this revelation I had six pairs of high heels which I always wear when I go to church, we left that factory that were designing shoes and I saw a clothing store and there I saw male and female shorts, I saw rehearsals sleeveless shirt being designed by various demons, and they were laughing with sarcasm, the angel told me, the body I have is the abode of the Holy Spirit and Christians should dress modestly with modesty, these in that store demons work hard through the fashion so that those chosen from the fence will fall subtly in worldliness, 
These demons have succeeded within the church. The angel took me in a vision to another place and I saw a church that was full. I saw the pastor of this church in the pulpit ministering prosperity gospel in a campaign. I saw demons around the church and one standing next to the pastor. This was the demon of miracle work. Ah. The angel told me in churches where the truth is not preached demons work wonders, miracles and signs, in order to deceive the crowds. These ministries are true paths to hell just by not teaching holiness, by turning unwary and blindness with all that was revealed to me. I asked the angel how would my situation in our church be with this new experience, because I was concerned about the situation in my church. The pastor was bad and disciplined me for he was not believing in any kind of revelations, and on account this he wouldn't listen to me. The angel told me, your life will be raised in the ministry and you will be committed for the salvation of souls and you will do a lot of damage in the kingdom of darkness in Asia, you will soon have God power to cast out demons and authority to evangelize, you gonna needs to be baptized with Holy Spirit to exercise that authority. You will be in married to servants that will be raised as pastor in his ministry and will be fast in doctrine. You will be the missionary and the helper, only remain a humble servant and don't let pride contaminate you again. And having said this the angel disappeared into the light and my eyes opened up again. Soon I deleted my Facebook profiles and my Instagram, then I decided to destroy my six pairs of high heels which I threw in the trash over the day. I started to feel uncomfortable dressing in tight clothes and shirt, which led me to throw away some sets of them. Comma two days after that experience I saw a formless terrible demon that left me an enter in black fog, while I was in my office in the night, I was scared when he said don't talk about all these, if you expose us we will follow you so that you don't deliver this message, and there will war, and I rebuked that demon in the name of the Lord Jesus when he finally disappeared emitting a scary laugh, leaving a sense of fear in my room environment, I entered my room to pray intensely until I felt empowered, it was easy for me to seal these messages that were given to me and the demons have worked against my life, because of these demons Asia is a real minefield of demons, and the Lord told me earlier that from Japan he would raise an army of spiritual warrior and watchmen for the liberation of our continent and salvation of many souls, there are many mystical religions that are barriers for the spread of the gospel in Asia, and this requires warriors raised by God to bring down these opposition, my battles have been constant but I have awareness that the Lord is in the command of my life, time is brief for humanity, we must always do the will of our Lord, yet when we find that we are in great battle we continue to seek the fullness of the Holy Spirit in our lives in order to resist the days of anguish and darkness that may come upon us any moment, we seek holiness and justice every day of our lives without worrying about the consequences, I will be persistent in spreading the message of the Lord entirely like his faithful servant.